All right, today we are going to introduce the VX16S, the 4K all-in-one controller. Uh, this video will be divided by following parts. All right, let's say this is the front panel of the VX16S. We could see lots of buttons here and also the LCD screen and also the knob. We could use those things to control this device and run our screen. All right, this is the reverse side. We could see four DVI inputs and one HDMI 2.0 input and also two 3G SDI inputs. Also, they got two Ethernet inputs for the control and one USB. And also, this has got the... Uh, Monitor output, monitor output for monitoring the content, and uh, those Ethernet Ethernet outputs for the LED screen. We assume that this is the screen that we want to run. So let's say how we could make the configuration from the front panel of the VX16S. Okay, this is the front panel of VX16S. So what we have to do is just press this knob and uh, choose the screen settings here. We can see a lot of options here. So we choose the first one, quick configuration. And also, as we can see this screen, this screen, we, we got eight parts. And uh, I have to say, uh, this one varying from the right to the left. So let's do the quick configuration. As we know, the cabinet row, we, we could do the mass. This is only one, and for the cabinet column quantity, we could say one, two, three, four, five, uh, till eight. So we choose this place as eight. And port one, cabinet quantities, we choose eight as well. And then we choose the data flow from the correct way. We are standing in front of the screen, in front of the screen, and to say the cable wearing direction. All right, this is the way to do the quick configuration and this is the wheel configured screen. All right, for the other options from the screen settings, we can see they got uh, load RCFDX file. First of all, we need to save the RCFDX file to this VX16S. The way of doing it is from the LCT Mars, the software from our official website. And uh, let's say the Third so one, save to the receiving card. Once everything is well configured and the screen, uh, I mean the screen works properly, uh, we could save the RCFDX to the receiving card as the old ways. This is the advanced configuration. This is the most important part in the screen settings. Let's say why it's so important. First of all, we have to enable that, and we could say this is quite different from the quick configuration that's the reason why we got several ports here as we know the vx 16 s got uh, 16 output ports so that means we could edit each port for this device we are only using uh, the port one so this is the old ways at the quick configuration the cabinet row quantity will be one and uh, cabinet columns will be eight and uh, also uh, the horizontal offside means if you want to uh, offside the image, but actually for this time we don't need. And the uh, vertical offside still we don't need it. And also choose the correct data flow. Choose the correct data flow. We have to stand in front of the screen and uh, let's say we choose the correct one and then it worked. And don't forget to click apply. Well, we can see the screen is well configured now. Okay, after the advanced configuration, now we're going to the more settings. For the more settings, we got two parts. The first one is a mapping, and second one is a screen color. So you're wondering what is the mapping function now, I'm just uh, going to show you. When we just uh, enable the mapping, we will see on the screen, you got lots of uh, numbers. The P means, uh, the port, port number one, and the shop means the receiving card number. So we could say, uh, for this port, we got eight cabinets. For this part, we got eight cabinets. And this is shop number one, number two, and this is the data flow. I mean, how the cable wearing. All right, all right, uh, to the screen colors. Actually, uh, I don't recommend you to change anything from here because everyone, everyone got the different feelings of same colors. So, uh, I just will introduce that one. 
we got the cool, warm, or customized. You can change that one, but I don't really suggest that. And for the gamma, the default gamma will be 2.8. Will be the 2.8. Okay, let's say this is the front panel of the VX16S. So we could say they got the main PIP1 and PIP2. That means for the VX16S, it supports three layers, three layers. And how could we uh, use that one? First, we could click these buttons like main PIP1 or PIP2. Also, we could do it from the layer settings here. Okay, let's say we choose the main layer main layer and we make it on and choose the correct input source we got hdmi 2.0 and two 3g sdn and also four pieces of uh dvi inputs and also we could choose it from those buttons as well okay for the scaling mode we got three parts we got three parts the first one is auto scaler auto scaler and second auto scaler and uh, the second one uh, will be the pixel to pixel and uh, the third one would be the cost, customized, customized. We could say the auto scaler, that means no matter uh, what, the what the resolution of your uh, video source, and it will just auto fit to your screen size. Uh, for pixel to pixel, that means it's just the same as your uh, uh, video inputs, it's same as your video inputs, and uh, it will just show a part of your screen, on the part of your screen. And for the customized, for the customized, we could change the horizontal uh, value and also the vertical value as we want. For the uh, initial X, that means uh, once we need to make these, uh, make the content on the screen, uh, do the offsides, we could use this button. And for the initial Y, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. We could do that thing. Uh, okay, let's say we back it to zero. We back it to zero and uh, make it as. Auto scale it, make it auto scale it. And uh, for the next one, the input crop. What is input crop? That means we could edit the input. We could edit the input. Let's say when I just enable that, and we could change the horizontal waist value and the vertical uh, height value. And let's say what is the result. All right, we could see obviously uh, on the screen, we just crop the input at the same value from this uh, front panel. And also we could, we could change the initial X or initial Y. But uh, just to remember one thing, all the values like the horizontal width value uh, plus the initial X value uh, equals the video input source and also the same thing for the uh, vertical values for the vertical values okay this is for the input crop for the input crop for the priority priority as i said as i mentioned uh, for the vx16f it got three layers three layers once you are using uh multi layers and the choose the priority and then you will just use the one you want on the top on the top and this one would be the uh, recite. You could reset all the settings you've done before. Okay, let's move to the display control. Display control. Let's say they've got the normal freeze and blackout and also the test part. And normal means it will, the screen will just display the content from your video source. And the freeze means, freeze means uh, it will just stop at this frame and uh, no matter what kind of things you're doing now it won't just show on the screen for the blackout when you click that one and the screen will be black now we go back to the normal for the test portal for this one we are going to use that one to save the screen uh, if the screen works properly also check the colors for the image colors and uh, just as I said, I don't really recommend you to change all the values here because different people got different feelings to say the colors. But if you got the special requirements, then you could uh, change that one as you want. Uh, for this place, we got the brightness, contrast, and saturation, and the hue. Okay, uh, next one, we are moving to the precise settings. Actually, um, uh, in one event and all the projects, uh, normally, we don't just use 
one layer. We don't just use one layer. Sometimes we use multiple layers. For this device, as I said, it supports three layers. So once you're saying that the screen works as you want and you do enable another layers here, and we could say the DY1, we change to the, uh, okay, now. All right, if you got the another video inputs, let's say, uh, assuming that place is the new, new one, is the new content here. Let's say we, we are enabled two layers now, two layers now, and uh, if this is the one you want, we could do the, uh, pr do the preset. And how can we save it at the preset? We could just uh, say, press this button and click save. Okay, not only this one uh, is unique, uh, but also we got lots of different things like uh, we could change, we could change it, we could change it as uh, three layers now. And uh, let's say, I will just change the place here. Hold on a second, hold on a second. I'm going to change the values and uh, make the things all clear here. Okay, let's say. Okay, and also for the PIP1, for the PIP1, and now for the PIP2, PIP2. change the initial access for handler. Okay, let's say we got three layers here. Once if uh, we need it and we could save it to the preset two, preset two. Okay, uh, once we saved all the preset, then how can we load it? How can we load it? As we can see, we could load it from here. Now it changed, it changed. And, it, and also uh, from the front panel, it shows using. Once we need it back, we do the same thing here. Once you don't want to use it, we could just click clear. Or just you can uh, copy to other precise as you want. Yeah. All right, sometimes uh, for the events or for some projects, uh, maybe the screen will just oversize for one VX16S. So what can we do? We could do the image mosaic. That means we have to use several devices, several devices. At least we need to use two pieces of that. Okay, let's see how we do the image mosaic, how we do the image mosaic. First of all, we need to enable that. Uh, by the limitation of the real screen size, we just uh, assuming that uh, the whole screen size is uh, 2040, eight by uh, five one two okay this is the whole screen size whole screen size so first of all we need to enter that the total horizontal pixels is 2048 and the total vertical uh, pixels is 512 and uh, also we need to tell the first device the loading area loading area the weight is uh one zero uh 10, 24 and uh, the loading height will be 512 as well and the second device we give it as zero and uh, uh, five one two zero and five one two. All right, this is a limitation of this device, so I, I cannot make it higher and uh, less. Uh, I will make it back. Okay, let's say the loading area initial x and the initial y, and this is the same thing as I said. This is just a a coordinate offside, a coordinate offside. Okay, this is the image mosaic part. Next, we are going to the advanced sightings, advanced sightings. For this part, I have uh, those important parts to introduce to you. Uh, the first one is synchronization, synchronization. Uh, when we're going to use the uh, synchronization, that means we have several devices like what I said, when we are going to use the mosaic, we are using the mosaic. We make it on and choose the source. Uh, that will have the help those two devices or several devices synchronous synchronous. I mean the content won't be uh, tearing or things like that. And that's one for the FN FN. As we can see here, we got the FN buttons. So that means we could we could edit it and uh, make uh, give it the features like freeze, blackout, quick configuration, or image color. 
Okay, next one will be the advanced functions. Advanced function. For this part, okay, we could say the 3D mode and the self-test. Uh, by the way, this VX16 has support 3D, support 3D. Uh, actually, I have to tell you the one thing. Uh, when you are enabled this 3D and all the uh, Ethernet output port loading capacity should be the half, uh, should be the half of before. And say, let's say self-test, uh, sometimes the device get crashed or uh, any issues uh, we could do the self-test here self-test here and uh, it will just give you the shape about the parameters shape of the parameters uh, if you think it's from the hardware or something you could do the self-test and give all the values to our technician and we will just analyze the things and give you the final solution Okay, okay, this is all the important features of the VX16S. I hope this one will help your uh, events or the project easier than never before. Actually, if you meet any questions or any issue, you could just find the sales you know or the technician you know. All right, thank you.